So now let us discuss about the colors of the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, white and violet are considered to be the seven colors of the rainbow. You can see the color combination over here of how the rainbow colors will be. Let us now discuss about the color and vision. We can think of different colors of light like balls with different kinetic energies. You can see here the depiction which is having the range of energy level for the colors. In general, the blue light has a higher energy than the green light. If you look over here, we have the range of energy levels for the RGB colors. Blue is considered to be the prioritized one when compared to green. Similarly, green is considered to be having more priority energy level when compared to red. So we stating that blue light has a higher energy than green light like the balls that make it into the top window. Similarly, the green light is considered to be the middle one which you can see here in the window and the red light has the lowest energy like the balls that can make it to the lowest window. So this is nothing but the color proportion in terms of energy. There is a question. How the human eye sees color? The answer is because of retina. The retina in the black of the eye contains photoreceptors. You can see here this is nothing but the typical representation of the eyeball. You can see here the layer of retina. So these receptors release some kind of chemical signals. These chemical signals travel to the brain along the optic nerve. So this is the representation of how the optic nerve sends the chemical signals to the brain. Apart from this, let us see about the photoreceptors in the eye. Cones respond to three colors. The three colors are red, green and blue whereas the rods detect intensity of light. It is mainly focusing on black, white and shades of grey colors. So you can see here the retina, the cone cells over here and the rod cells. Let us see how the eye captures the color and it transfers it to the brain via the chemical signals. So here you are seeing the scleral layer over here and the choroid layer and the retina layer which is emphasized over here. So through this, the colors are getting to be captured and it is traveling 
by means of chemical signals to the brain by means of optic nerve you can see how the eye has been captured the star which is actually having the color combination of red and yellow and it is getting to be observed through the retina and it is passed on to the optic nerve to the brain there is another question how we see the color of things when we see an object the light that reaches our eyes can come from two different processes the first one is the light can be emitted directly from the object like a light bulb you can see here how the light has been emitted directly from the object which we have considered for the light bulb and the other process is stating about the light that can come from somewhere else like sun and we see the objects by reflected light you can see here in the depiction of how light has been reflected over here and which is seen through the naked eye apart from this colored fabrics and paints get color from a subtractive process chemicals known as pigments in the dyes and paint observe some colors and allow the color you actually see to be reflected so magenta yellow and cyan are the three subtractive primary colors you can see here the color mixing proportion of additive and subtractive color mixing ratios so red green and blue are considered to be additive primary colors whereas magenta yellow and cyan are considered to be subtractive primary colors so additive primary colors are stated as crt display whereas subtractive primary colors are stated as inks or toners So this is the combination of how the color mixing proportion will be. The combination of red, green and blue gives us white color. You can see here and the combination of red and green gives yellow color. So the combination of these two that is red and green gives yellow and the combination of red and blue over here will give magenta so this indicates magenta color and the combination of blue and green gives us cyan you can see here so these are considered to be the additive primary colors whereas on the other side if we consider the subtractive primary color we have magenta cyan and yellow so combination of these three colors yield the magenta yellow and cyan gives the combination of black you can see here the combination of magenta and yellow color yields red so this is the combination ratio similarly the combination of cyan and yellow is green so this is nothing but the green color and the combination of magenta and cyan gives blue so the magenta and cyan gives blue color
If you consider adding of colors, white light can be split up to make separate colors. We already knew the primary colors are RGB that is red, blue and green. You can see here how the color combination ratios have been displayed here. So adding up of red and green gives yellow, blue and red makes magenta that is purple and adding up of all three colors in the middle you can see the white and adding of blue and green makes cyan that is a kind of light blue.